Windows 8 is almost here, and I am here with one of the first Windows 8 PCs. Windows 8 works really, really well with touch. Now, that's really expensive is the problem, is to, to put a touchscreen into a laptop would raise the price. We've seen most touchscreen laptops in the sort of twelve to $1,500 range, uh, and, and a number of laptops that don't have that, you, you, you can get as cheap as $500. You can have a trackpad that enables some of the touch gestures that Windows 8 is powered by. So for instance, what I'm, what I'm allowed to do here is just with two fingers, I can scroll across this row of apps. Now normally I would just take my finger and scroll across. I can't do that here, but I can do that on the trackpad. With the new user interface, if this is something for you and you like it, great. If not, it's as simple as just going over to the desktop. You can click on that, like an app, and then you're in your desktop. The one difference is that there's no start button. Now, you can access all the things that were in that uh, start button from the main screen. Everything that you could do in your start bar exists, it just exists in a different place. For existing Windows users, if you've got Windows 7, unless you really like this user interface, you could probably stick with Windows 7 unless you have a touch screen. Touch screens really make Windows 8 come alive. So will they convince Apple users to come over to Windows? Maybe, but probably not. But that's not really their target audience. Right now, they're really just trying to hold on to the audience that they have already. The, the user base that they have, the billions of people that are using Windows, they want to continue to use Windows. Those people increasingly are going over to iPads, are going over to tablets, are going over to Macs, are going to different platforms, and Microsoft really needed to step up its game in order to keep those people on the Windows ecosystem. They absolutely have done that with Windows 8. The question is, will the learning curve necessary to uh, understand Windows 8 and really embrace Windows 8 is that going to be a turnoff for those users that they're targeting? I think that initially that might be the case, and Windows 8 sales are going to be a slow right off the bat. But down the road, I really think that they have an operating system that can run on a whole host of new devices that, you know, we're not just thinking tablets and smartphones and, and PCs and, and, and TVs anymore. We're thinking about, you know, tabletop surfaces and we're thinking about screens that pop out of laptops and plug into to docks and so on and so forth. Microsoft has found a way with Windows 8 to keep the Windows users that it has and grow its base for the platforms of the future.